my record against him isn't good. Um, so it's nice to win. Um, but m most importantly, it's not, not about that. It's about trying to progress in the competition and delighted with the players, delighted with the efforts that they gave. Um, very difficult game for us in that first half. I thought they played very well. Um, I thought we defended very well because we had to, because we, we struggled. Um, didn't have much rhythm, but then the second half was a totally different performance. The, the balance of the team was much better and delighted with the, everyone's commitment to the, to the game. I thought Paul was absolutely outstanding, as you say, and I think when you see him behind the scenes every day, um, his commitment to Newcastle, the professionalism that he shows, um, his, his standards have been exemplary since I've been here. That's why I'm so determined to keep him in the summer. Um, and he can still play an important role on the pitch. He's got a real experience and um, really good defensive mindset. So I thought him and Jamal, the pair of them today, I thought were really, really good for us, and uh, delighted that we, we we sort of show that strength in our back line because it's going to be hugely important this season. Jordan, how important was Bruno in that second half? They gave up the as well. Yeah, the balance of the team is better, but I think it's always going to be when you bring players at that level on. Anthony and Bruno, I thought both improved our performance, and that's no reflection of the other lads. They're just they're high-level players. Um, made a couple of tactical tweaks and they um, they did change the game. I think they just gave us more confidence and uh, in and out of possession I thought we were better. We posed them problems and gave them less respect. So really pleased with their impact and their, their mentality is coming onto the pitch. They were determined to, to help us. But I think the most important thing in that first half when we weren't playing well is that we didn't concede and we stayed in the game and that gave us the opportunity in the second half to change the game. Yeah, I thought he did really well. I think it was a, a tough game against Jack. Grealish, who's an, an unbelievable player, and Tino, I thought, defended really, really well against him. 1v1 a lot of the time. I thought he was really aggressive and, and front foot, but, but dealt with him really well. And his main strength of his game, really, historically, has been his attacking intent and his ability to run with the ball. And you sort of saw, saw flashes of that in the second half, but I thought it was a, a really good debut for him. Well, Luke and then Dominic. I'd love to say it was Luke, but it wasn't. No, we, we, our plan was to try and be a bit more aggressive in the first half than we were. But as I said many times, ga games can sometimes go differently to, to how you prepare and what you want. Um, we probably lacked a little bit of confidence and personality in that first half when we started to come under a little bit of pressure. But in saying that, we dug in and we were difficult to, to play through. They didn't create many ch clear-cut chances tonight. So even in that first half, and it's really important in those moments that you stay in the game and give yourself a chance because you know the game will turn at some stage uh, a chance to win the game like we did. A nice to win against one of the big boys after the season. Lloyd had such a tough fixture list at the start of the season. You came out on the wrong side of three games, but on a really, really good run and building momentum. Yeah, I think the, the only way you go into these games with more belief is by winning. Um, so hopefully that will serve us well for the future. It shows that we are capable. Yes, both teams made changes, but. All you can do is, is, is try and win the game, and we did, and I'm delighted with the players. Dominic and then Aaron. Dominic? Chris, I'm Paul Dominic before. You previously described him as a sort of hero, but behind the scenes, how nice was it to see him come to the forefront and just see the standing ovation? Yeah, well, he deserved it for his performance, and it's always nice when you see someone work so hard behind the scenes and be so diligent and professional that they do get rewarded. I always believe life and sport does pay you back eventually. And I think Paul's had that sort of reward for his performance tonight. We've, we and him have worked really hard to try and keep him fit. Um, and we know we're going to need him this season. And he's proved that tonight that he, he won't let us down if, um, if we call upon him. Well, it was a plan to involve him if he was fit and he passed that test a few days ago, so we were excited to get him back. He's such an important player, and even in that first half, he was probably the one player who was winning duels and who was getting close to his opponents. He was the one that nicked the ball for Jacob Murphy's chance in that first period, so 
I was pleased with Joe tonight. I thought it was a, a good return to form for him. Physically looked good, um, even though he's had limited training. So delighted with him. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. He's got a bit of a tight calf. Um, we are nursing a few problems at the minute. Um, the squad stretched, hence the changes in the team. He's been very good, very, very good. He's trained. I don't think you're able to come in and give that performance if you're not training well and you're not applying yourself to your work really well. So he's been superb. I think he's understood his position. He's come back from a long, a long injury as well. So you have to take that into account. So almost th this period for him where he's learning how the team plays, he's learning about uh, the players he's playing with is a really good moment for you if you look at it that way. And then when you get your chance, you've got to take it. And he's, he's done that today. Yeah, I thought, look, I was pleased with both players. Very difficult half for us. We knew we were slightly imbalanced. Um, not a reflection on the players that came off. I, I felt I had to do something to give us the best chance to win the game. They're both going to be top players for us. I've got no doubt about that. And sometimes with a difficult experience, which it probably would have been for both players, you can grow a lot from that. So, um, no, I think it could be a really good thing looking back in, a, in a, hopefully a couple of years for both of them, what happened today. I'd, 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 yeah, I don't think we're looking too far ahead. I think we can only look sort of what's in front of us, and now it's Burnley. And our attention will go to that and, and to try and uh, continue the good form that we're in. And then when this competition comes around again, we'll, we'll give it our full focus as we did. The preparation for today was the same as any other game that we've played this season. Yes, we rotated the team, but we felt it was a necessity with the games we have coming up. But we still wanted to progress. We still wanted to win. And I think most importantly, from the people coming to the game. You'd have seen that in our players' performance tonight. Uh, I said I said a few things, but